Okay, 07 Fusion. It's summertime, it's hot. Feels like 100 degrees outside. I've seen lots of complaints on the uh, AC drain or the airbox drain on the uh, 07, 08, 09 Fusions. It's all over the internet. Apparently it's a design flaw uh, from Ford. Um, I'll go underneath the car here in a second. You can't really see it from the top. If you want to get it from the top, you got to remove this. Um, obviously, it would be easy to access it if you take the upper plenum off, which I actually had that off um, no more than a week ago. And uh, I wish I'd have thought about this when I had that plenum off because access would have been so easy. Uh, but it's actually just as easy from underneath. So what the complaint is, is the drain is not uh, draining the water all the way out of the car and out of the firewall. So when your AC is running, it's making condensation inside of that air box and that water's got to drain out of it. Um, and the water is actually coming back into the car uh, because the little plastic drain only sticks out not even a maybe a quarter inch past the firewall and then it's surrounded by foam insulation so it's weeping back into the firewall um, and then into the cabin uh, floorboard you know passenger sides getting everything wet I have not experienced that yet um, so I went ahead and nipped it in the butt um, and took care of it and I'm gonna show you what I did unfortunately I already have it fixed right now so I don't have a before but it's really easy to see this once you get up underneath it so what I did was I just jacked up the passenger side up underneath the subframe um, jack it up a good maybe a good foot off of the ground just enough so you can get up underneath that front passenger side here so let's go up underneath All right. excuse the footage for a minute okay so I know it's kind of hard to see. Right now I'm looking up underneath the uh, passenger front wheel right here by the wheel well. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Okay, so where the light is. Now I'm sticking my arm right next to the exhaust and I you see my fingers wiggling in there. I can get my hand perfectly in there. There's no obstacles in there. So the uh, tube that comes out is right here where my fingers are is a little plastic tube that comes out right there there you go get it to focus there's a plastic tube that comes out of the firewall right there and it just sticks straight out it doesn't go down towards the ground to let the water drip down it just lets it drip and hang out the side so what I did was I took a, uh, a piece of rubber hose in a 90 degree molded angle and cut it up and put some black RTV on one end of it, stuck it over top of that plastic tube coming out, put RTV around it so it sealed it up. So now instead of the water just having to drip out this, the side of that tube, it's going to force the water down straight towards the ground. So won't have to deal with any water getting inside the car um, if that ever were to happen so but I've seen a ton of complaints on the internet uh, guys ripping the carpets out of their car and all the seats and everything else trying to get their cars dry and figure out what the problem is um, and apparently this is the culprit right here so I went ahead and did a little preventative maintenance on that and took care of that issue so if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll get back to you